we know for certain that there are no terrorist or extremist actions or acts that have been carried out from so-called Hindutva extremists. The question that you that you raised is why is so much attention being put away from the Islamist threat to, to the Hindutva threat is because people want to uh, believe that there isn't an Islamist threat when actually clearly there is, especially look at just on connected offences, Islamist extremism, they dominate statistics year on year and they've been doing it for the last nine years. I cannot see that it's going to regress at any time soon. So from the period between 31st of March 2013 to 31st of March 2021, in terms of people in custody for Islamist extremism, connected offences, there were more than than any other form of extremism and will include that hindered for extremism even though that comes up as zero now the lowest number of people in custody for islamist extremism was 79 uh, people in 2014 with an increase of over 100 percent at 164 in 2017 so in that three-year period we saw a hundred percent rise in islamist extremists in prison and then the highest peak came a year later where it went from 160 for all the way to 186 individual recorded individuals recorded as being in custody for the same connected offence. The number of individuals in custody for extreme right-wing connected offences rose from 4 to 44. That's our 1,000% increase. So there are therefore significantly fewer extreme right-wing prisoners in custody than their Islamist counterparts. Mm -hmm.